Hey guys, it's uh, day 28, which means I've done a full cycle of the moon. And uh, it's also the new moon this evening, so I thought, how appropriate would that be, hey Vicky, to be, um, to do new moon yoga on the new moon and celebrate um, my 28th day of juice fasting. I know I haven't been around for um, the past three days, and I apologize. It's been overwhelming, um, and I'm going to talk more about that on uh, Monday night, tomorrow night, my way in. So let's go ahead and get ourselves set up. I want to see if my husband has the other light ready for me because I have, I have a second light that I wanted to... See, is that ready? Yeah, the, light bulb. the light bulb is next to you. So, um, if you haven't gotten your mat out yet, you can go ahead and get your mat and get set. My tree is joining us today. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Julie. Hi, Aprita. Hey. Yeah, as you're logging in, say hi. That way I can uh, know who's here. And uh, again, you can, if you're just logging in, we're going to do some yoga. So get yourself your yoga mat out and get yourself comfortable. Ah, so, oh, who else is here? Hi. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> um, I think we're going to start without the, the light, so um, let's go ahead and stand in the center of your mat, and we'll have the line, legs extended in all four corners of the feet reaching down into the earth, soft knees, tailbone dropped, navel back. You can bring the hands to the heart and then raise the arms up overhead. Interlace the fingers, all but the pointer finger coming into temple mudra and reach up even taller and lean to the right. Good. Thanks for the love. Inhale, reach up, get tall, reach over to the other side. Good. Inhale. Take a moment to pause here. New moon is a great time to make wishes. See what you see for yourself over the next 28 days. And let's inhale and open the arms out. We're, I'm okay without it. Okay. Thanks. And <clears throat> Spread your legs out nice and wide. Coming to start pose. And then turn your right toes out. Bring your hip, your left hip to the left. Reach your right hand to the right and then lower the right hand down. Raise the left arm up. And look up. You don't have to try to touch your ankle like me. You might look more like that. That is fine. You can look up to your left hand, straight ahead or down at your right foot for triangle. Good. Now take your left hand and we're going to frame your front foot. Now you might like to put blocks under your hands. I don't have them with me uh, right now, but you can bend the front knee if you need to. You're going to turn those left toes so they're facing the corner of your mat. And all the toes are pointing to the right. Glide that right hip back as far as you can. And draw the heart forward. Relax the head. Connect with your breath. Good. 
Now bring your left knee down to the ground. You can step that, slide that knee back a little bit, sink the hips and open the chest. You can pet your dog if they're right there. <laughs> and then stay here or you can reach the arms out and up, lifting the heart, keep sliding that tailbone down. And then sweep the hands inside the legs, turn the back toes under, lift the knee and pivot the foot. Coming into Skanda Asana or side lunge. And then walk the hands over to the other side. And again, you can have blocks underneath you. And now we're going to come to lunge with the right knee down and turn the left toes to the left. Sink the hips, glide that back knee back even more. Open the chest. Stay here. Or reach the arms out and up, lift the heart, and then bring the hands down to the Earth Mother once again. Curl the back toes under, press the right heel to the ground, and the foot will be out at an angle a little bit. Work your hips to the side of your mat, draw your heart forward, and fold over the left leg. Relax the facial muscles. Breathe. Turn the right toes forward. Bring the left hand to your thigh or your shin or ankle, wherever you reach in triangle. And reach the right arm up. Stretch your chest. Reach through your arm bones. Keep pushing the right hip to the right. And again, the head can be comfortable wherever you um, feel comfortable. If you feel like it's easy for you to look up, look up to your right thumb. If not, straight ahead or down. Pull the navel back, reach up. Turn the toes forward. Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> I almost toppled over. And then let's bring the hands to the ground. Raise your hips, and I shouldn't even say to the ground because you can go to blocks or you might not reach the ground at all. You can hold on to your legs, fold forward, relax the head, connect with your breath. And then pull the navel back, roll up. Want to stand. <clears throat> Turn the toes outward. And we'll come to goddess squat. You can bring your hands to your belly if you'd like, or one hand to the belly, one hand to the tailbone. Sink nice and low. You can have your hands out to repel, down to ground, or up to receive. Connect with your breath. Good, and then stand tall. Turn your right toes forward, your left toes out. Reach your hands out to the sides. We're gonna come back into triangle on the same side we just came from. Turn from your belly, your ribs and shoulders, and lengthen the tailbone down. Open your chest, breathe. Go ahead and bend the front knee slightly, framing the um, foot, and allow the toes to spin so they're all facing the same direction. Glide the left hip back, draw the chest forward, and fold over the left leg. Keep reaching that rear heel down.
And bend the front knee. Step the back foot back a little bit more. Bring the knee to the ground. You can uncurl the toes here. Sink the hips. Broaden the chest. Pull the navel back and down. Sweep the arms out and up. Maybe bring the palms together this time. Bring the hands to the earth. Inside the legs. Turn the back toes under. Lift the knee and pivot the foot so the toes are up. Back into side lunge. It's a great groin stretch. And then walk the hands to the other side. Raise the toes. Open the chest. Sink the hips. Raise the right hand up, frame the right knee, and pivot to your right so that you're back into lunge with your right knee bent in front of you this time, and slide the left knee back. <clears throat> Sink the hips, pull the navel back, and anchor it down behind you. Reach the arms out and up. Maybe bring the palms together. Open the heart. Lower the hands. Frame the right foot. Curl the back toes under and lift the knee. Press the rear heel into the ground. You might need to step it forward a little bit. Draw the chest forward as you glide the right hip back. Fold over your leg. Separate the top and bottom row of the teeth and connect with your breath. Turn the left toes to face forward and bring the right hand to your ankle, shin or thigh. Raise the left arm up for triangle over the right leg. Pull the navel back. Keep pressing the left hip to the left. And draw the crown of the head away from the hip. Good. Pull that belly button back. Come on up to stand. Turn all the toes to face forward. Bring the hands to the lower back. Lift the chest. Exhale and fold. Don't mind my tree. They're shooting fireworks. You're okay. Good boy. Relax the elbows. Relax the head. Take a few deep breaths here. You might like to bring the hands to the hips, pull those stomach muscles back and up to stand. Turn the toes out. My tree, nobody can see me. Come here. Lay down. Squat down, navel back, tailbone down. You can turn the palms up, down, forward. Nice deep breaths. Squeeze that belly button back, come to stand. And we're going to open the arms, turn the toes forward, walk the feet in, bring the palms together, interlace the fingers all but the pointer, reach up into the heavens, close your eyes, stretch up to the left first this time, breathe. Inhale, center, 
Root down through the feet, rise up through the hands. Exhale to the other side. Pull the navel back, come to center. Bring the hands at the heart, thumbs to the sternum. And connect with that vision you have of yourself over the next 28 days. The moon is magical. Tonight, you won't be able to see the moon. It's the dark moon, the new moon. And then it grows in brightness as it moves across the sky into fullness. And then ebbs back again. Wonderful. From here, let's go ahead and take that prayer, that vision, and fold on down. Bring the hands to the thighs, inhale halfway up, flat back, and exhale to fold all the way down again. Bend your knees, and work your way onto your belly. So if you need to turn, around or turn onto your mat. You can do that. And let's bring the hands next to the chest. Press the tops of the feet into the ground. Plug the pubic bone into the ground and inhale the nose to neck and chest up. You might like to roll the shoulders up back and down, maybe push into the hands a little more and draw the stern forward. Smile and breathe. Draw the heart forward, lower the forehead to the ground, let's do that again, inhale, nose, chin, neck, chest, forward, roll the shoulders up, back and down, maybe push into the hands or maybe we stay low, connect with your breath. Draw the heart forward, come on down. Take a breath here. And again, glide the nose, the chin, the chest forward, open your heart, draw your shoulder blades forward towards your chest. And slide the chest forward, come on down, forehead to the ground. One more time, draw the nose to neck and chest forward, roll the shoulders up, back and down, draw the heart forward and breathe. Great, exhale, press back into child's pose. You can bring your big toes together and separate your knees or you can have your knees together and fold forward. Reach the arms overhead, connect with your breath. As you inhale, feel the back muscles spreading away from the spine. And as you exhale, relax a little bit more. Just checking on the time here. Oh, hi, Rosario. Hey, Kate. Hey, Lorena. God. Breathe. And then go ahead and you can push yourself up or use your muscles to come to sit. And we're gonna do a little twisting. So you can go ahead and sit on your buttocks. 
<clears throat> and cross your legs. And get nice and high in your sits bones. And then we're going to raise the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms up, and reach the perineum, that space between your anus and sex organ, away from the dome of your hands. Good. Turn to the right now. Again, my camera's switched, so it looks like I'm turning to the left. You're going to bring your left hand to your right thigh, your right hand behind your back, and turn from belly, chest, and shoulders. Inhale to create more length. Exhale to twist a little more. Use your inhale again to grow your spine taller. And the emptiness of the exhale to twist into your internal organs. So we're twisting on the ascending colon here and the liver. Pull the navel back, reach up. Interlace the fingers again. This time stack your fingers so the opposite fingers in front. Turn the palms up. Reach the perineum down and reach the dome of the hands up, up, up. Turn to your left, bring your left hand behind you and your right hand to your thigh. Turn, rotate your ribs. You can think of lifting your, the whole circumference of your rib cage up as it wraps around your torso and revolve it to the left some more. Relax the shoulders, connect with breath. Go ahead and bring the head center, raise the arms up, and let's exhale the arms down. Switch the legs, straighten them out and switch to the opposite side is in front. Roll to the front edge of your sits bones and root your legs down. Raise the arms up. Exhale and twist again to the right, turning from belly, chest, and shoulders. As you inhale, reach the crown of the head to the sky, not the forehead, the crown of the head. And as you exhale, ground through your legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, switch to the other side. And again, grow the crown to the heavens. Ground down through your legs as you exhale. Good. Bring the... Head center, raise the arms up, and reach in front of you. Good. Let's do a little shoulder stretch. So bend, raise your right hand, bend the elbow behind your head. Take your left hand and draw the elbow across. You can breathe here. You might feel a stretch through the right side a bit. Inhale, reach the arms up, bend the left elbow, take hold of it with your right hand and glide the elbow across. Just move within your pain-free range of motion. Connect with breath. Connect with body. Connect with that healthy vision you have of yourself.
Raise the arms up. Bring the hands behind you and hold one wrist. It doesn't matter which. We're going to close with yoga mudra before we go into relaxation. So a deep breath in. Draw the heart forward and fold. The hands, the arms stay relaxed on your back here. You don't need to lift the hands up. As you breathe here, allow this to be a very um, meditative pose. And then pull that navel back. Come on up nice and slow. Release the hands, and you can come to lay down on your back. If you'd like, you can have your knees bent or your legs straight. You can put something underneath your knees, like a bolster or a rolled up blanket. <clears throat> and I'm going to be sitting up while I guide you. So if you guys lay down, I'm going to sit. Allow your eyes to close and take a deep breath in. Hold the breath for a moment and exhale, let go. Feel the eyelids relaxing the facial muscles releasing. Feel the arms and legs dissolving towards the earth. Feel the belly and chest relax, the muscles of the back releasing into the floor. The body open and receptive to healing. The quietness and the void of the new moon hovers above you. The light is always shining even when we can't see it. This body is sustained by altars to the radiant nectar of life. Around you, an ocean of air ready to become your breath. Above the head, the glow of an invisible sun. Within the spaciousness of the heart, a pulsating throb of creation, where the breath meets, fuse and transform into one another. Whenever, wherever your mind wanders, whatever you wander, return to the luminous. Choose any altar within you. Throw your attention again and again into one of these centers where spirit and flesh consummate their love. Day by day, old whirlpools fade, the endless circles. You are living in 
the temple of essence. Let your sacred temple rest. Let the altar of your heart rest. Let your sacred temple rest. I wish you all a beautiful rest. May you sleep sweetly, knowing the moon loves you. Knowing I love you. Knowing you are a sacred temple. Namaste, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll weigh in in the morning when I wake up, and then we'll talk about it tomorrow night. Sweet dreams. <laughs>